Well, once uh, Chang'e 5 uh, arrives back on Earth in mid-December, uh, Chinese scientists are going to go uh, recover the capsule from the Inner Mongolia region, and they're going to be eager to open it up and uh, start analyzing samples. So some of the material brought back by Chang'e 5 could be material that is evidence of uh, a volcanism on the moon um, much more recently, relatively speaking, in geologic history. Uh, and they're a little bit different than the samples that were brought back by the Apollo uh, moon missions and the Soviet uh, Luna missions in the 1960s and 70s. So a lot of scientists are eager to get their hands on these uh, samples. They're going to take them to a lab. They're going to be able to, uh, to uh, date the samples, date the rocks that the mission brought back, and learn more about the composition and learn more about the history of the moon. You mentioned these samples are going to be different than the ones collected more than 40 years ago. Explain that a little bit more. How are they going to be different? Well, that's the expectation, at least, based on some remote sensing data from orbit is the region where Chengyi 5 landed uh, is covered in rocks that are uh, younger, uh, maybe a one to two billion years old. That's uh, still very old, but younger, geologically speaking, than the rocks that the Apollo moon missions brought back, which were more on the order of, th of uh, three to three and a half billion years old. So uh, there's evidence uh, from data uh, going into this mission that the region where, the, where this mission landed uh, has some different types of rocks than, uh, different ages of rocks than the Apollo moon samples.